Hey gang, welcome back to another cool manga animation tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to change this panel to this, also known as the Aura animation. Before you continue watching, you need to download a plugin to easily create Aura effects. Don't worry, the plugin is 100% free and directly from the official website. Head over to this link. I'll link this in the pinned comments and scroll down and download it either for Windows or Mac. The installation is pretty easy. Just run the setup and follow the steps. Once done, restart After Effects. Once you are into After Effects, create a new composition. Then import your subject. Go ahead and mask it. For the sake of the tutorial, I'm not animating each layer of this character. So I'm masking the whole character as one. But you can go ahead and animate it however you want by creating multiple layers. I've posted a lot of tutorials if you'd like to check out. Alright now the layer is masked. If you've animated the character, you'd have multiple masked layers, and that's perfect. Then pre-compose the layer. I'll add a solid background. You can add any background. Now comes the main setup. Create a solid layer. You can choose any color. Now hover over to effects bar and search for Saber, the plugin we just installed. If you don't find Saber, make sure you've installed it properly. Drag Saber into the solid layer. Now in the settings, open customized core and choose layer masks. Now you've to mask the solid layer again, similar to the character mask. Hide this layer so you can trace the character easily. Choose Pen Tool from above. Make sure the solid layer is selected, then start masking. So this is how it looks so far. The Saber plugin will start to add the aura effect on the mask. Continue to mask the layer. You might wonder, what if I have multiple masks in different layers? Well, the answer is simple. You pre-compose all the elements into a single layer after animating. And all you have to do is mask the outline, basically the edges of the subject. Once masking is done, unhide the solid layer. So if you are in this mode, toggle the mode by clicking this button here. Now change this solid mode to either Add or Screen. You can change the color of the aura here and choose from a variety of inbuilt presets. Adjust the glow spread and glow bias to your liking. Feel free to tweak with the settings until you're satisfied. Now comes the problem for most. So the aura works for a static panel with no movement. But you'd have animated your character and as the timeline moves, the aura stays at the same place. How can I fix it? Pretty simple. I'll now animate the pre-composed layer to show you how to trace the aura along with the movement. I'm adding a simple rotation animation. And notice that the aura doesn't move at all. To fix this, open the settings of the solid layer. Open masks. Now create a keyframe in mask path. Now go to the end frame of the animation. Basically where the animation ends. And fix each point so that it matches the edges of the subject. Make sure to easy ease the keyframes and also use similar graphs if you've used graph in your animation. The white background doesn't show good glow to the aura. I'll change it to black. Much better. I feel this preset looks much better. And here's the output. Now the aura is traced along with the movement of the subject. Additionally, if you want the aura to be behind the character and not on top of it, you can duplicate the subject layer and place it on top of the solid. As simple as that. And here's the final output. Hope you guys found this quick tutorial helpful. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and turn on notifications as well. If you want the free project file, it's linked in the description of this video. If you got any issues while following this tutorial, feel free to comment down the issue with the timestamp so I can help you. Additionally, you can also join my Discord server where you can find people to help you and I'll directly help you as well. Thank you so much for your support till now. Until next time, this is Roni, signing off.